Today on People with Passion for Pets, we talk to Brett Marlin. Brett uses his passion for pets to co-found the first veterinary-owned CBD manufacturer and is the chief executive officer of Companion CBD. So Brett, you are the chief executive officer and the co-founder of Companion CBD. So we want to talk uh, about your product and about your company. So tell us a little bit about that. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for having me on. And um, yes, we, uh, my business partner is a local veterinarian here in the Scottsdale area, and we created Companion CBD back in 2018. And uh, we are the first and only veterinarian-owned CBD manufacturer and education company. And maybe for our viewers, uh, go over a little bit what is CBD and uh, particularly uh, and specifically what is your product? Sure. Um, CBD is, has been rediscovered uh, heavily over the last five years. So it wasn't like it just all of a sudden appeared to be this, this cure-all type of compound, which is not a cure-all, but there's some phenomenal therapeutic and medicinal benefits. But uh, CBD is a compound of the uh, cannabis plant. And um, it is federally legal in all 50 states, as long as it's under uh, 0.3% can contain trace amounts of, of THC, which is the compound that, uh, that gets you high. Um, our product does not utilize any THC at all. It's THC free. And as a matter of fact, there's different forms of CBD and you'll hear CBD oil. Um, we don't use CBD oil. We used CBD isolate which is the purest form of CBD, which is in a powder crystallized formula that only has CBD in it, period. No other uh, compounds or terpenes or flavonoids, which are um, in other types of CBD oils, like a full spectrum product, which you may have heard that are based on uh, tinctures or drops. So our product is a CBD soft chew. It's very easy to administer. It's human grade food. It's manufactured in a GMP compliant facility that's also certified by the National Animal Supplement Council. So we go above and beyond and manufacture through good manufacturing processes and guidelines. And um, that's, uh, that's how we, uh, we created the company and the product lines that we offer. That's cool. So um, CBD is a kind of a natural way to treat different um, conditions in dogs, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, some of the most common applications and evidence based where there are studies available that, that uh, prove the efficacy is osteoarthritis is, would be the first and most common. So that's how we initially uh, formulated our products. We're based on osteoarthritis, um, which basically can be inflammation in the joints, which, which causes um, animals to uh, not be able to perform and have their movement as good as you may want, um, and in arthritis types of pain as well. However, we do treat lots of other animals with other conditions to include different anxieties, behavioral anxieties, separation anxieties, um, to also include seizure disorders, GI conditions, allergies. And as CBD continues to evolve, more and more studies will be available out there to, um, to prove the, uh, the efficacy of these different conditions that we know now and even more so later. So the CBD could actually be used on humans and it's, it's not like smoking a joint or something because there's no THDs, right? So it's, a, it's, it's something that humans can use the same mixture, so to speak, but just not specifically yours. Great question. CBD is CBD. It's a compound. It's a naturally occurring compound derived from the hemp plant, right? So again, there are CBD products for, for humans that have more than the 0.3% THC, which technically would be illegal, okay? That being said, there's different types of products. Uh, there's different ways to administer the product on the human side and on the veterinarian side of the equation. And again, we stay away from anything that has THC 
in the product due to the fact that it can be very toxic to animals and we've seen very great results without using it. So again, what we know now about CBD, having a, a safe, effective product line. Uh, interestingly enough, we just were um, awarded the Pet Product Innovations Award product of the year of 2020. So we're very oh. excited to have that. So we have a proven product that's vet endorsed and sold throughout vet hospitals across the United States and different parts of the world. Now that's interesting. You just mentioned that the, uh, the THD, it could be toxic to, to animals. So if people look up a different product and it's not quality made or something, it could actually be dangerous to the animal? Absolutely. And that's why what we do, when we built, we started the company, we were all about education first. Our tagline, if you will, is an educated consumer is our best customer. There's so much misinformation about CBD in the marketplace because it's not currently regulated by the FDA. So therefore we do, there's some bad apples in the industry that are making claims that are curing, treating and diagnosing um, or trying to prevent. Those are four bad words that the FDA doesn't like you to use on your labels <laughs> or even to make any type of claims. And unfortunately it's, it's, it's out there. Um, the FDA has is, is recognized that and interestingly enough, they are, um, they've shut some companies down. They find other companies that are, again, making these uh, erroneous claims. So that being said, education is a huge component of what we've done and what we're currently doing. And as a matter of fact, um, my business partner, Dr. Josh Sauce now, who's board certified vet of over 20 years, has created the first nationally recognized uh, accredited continuing education platforms for veterinary medicine. So that, that was kind of a mouthful, but <laughs> we, really, we really stand behind that because we've trained over 12,000 veterinarians and staff globally on the pharmacokinetics and the pharmadynamics of CBD in clinical practice. So again, we're really, we have taken you know, the, the, the first to the forefront of the industry to really educate and we also have a program for, for pet owners everywhere. Cause you know, let's face it, CBD is available everywhere. It's online. It's there's people selling it, you know, as a side business, um, unfortunately, and that's great. However, they're not educated. Uh, I, sh I should say a lot of them aren't educated enough mm -hmm. and there could be um, some situations where they're selling a human product that may have a sweetener in it, like a xylitol, an artificial sweetener, which mm -hmm. is very toxic to animals. So um, you have to, consumers have to be very cognizant of the fact of this and understand that they should always talk to their veterinarian before giving them anything, let alone CBD. I do love that you guys are really, really big on education, but in the same way, you're also big about answering questions to people. And so um, I wanted to share your website here. It's companioncbd.com. You actually have an, a feature here where somebody could actually ask questions like dosage, when to administer it, how to administer it. So I think this is really great. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you brought that up because that was definitely something I wanted to discuss because it's complimentary. So if you click on the, the yellow tab there that says ask a vet, um, anybody can send us an email, set up a time. It could be a phone consultation. It can be uh, a Skype or, or just an e email response and we'll get back with you. Um, typically, we get back with you really quick within hours, um, sometime even sooner. We have a a veterinarian staff on board to to field these questions but again it's absolutely free and you can reach out and and basically get the facts from a veterinarian to potentially discuss how cbd can help manage your pet's condition depending on what they may be uh, suffering from or just quite frankly slowing down pets that typically between you know six years old and up start uh getting osteoarthritis it's very common in in just like us humans, as we get older, we slow down, our joints hurt and uh, inflammation in the body and um, it's animals are the same. Yeah, and, and you know, one of the other things is uh, we talked about uh, administering and finding the right dosage. And, you know, that's one of the things that I noticed with yours and, and you know, we used uh, CBD on a very large Chesapeake Bay tree where he was uh, 95 pounds. So I love that, um, you know, you have these soft shoes and they're in different um, 
concentrations so that it's made easy to figure out how much to give your dog, right? Absolutely. So you, you'll see a lot of other products out there, uh, like biscuits and other type of products that, uh, and even treats, right? We don't call them treats because they're not. We like to call them soft chews because there is therapeutic amounts of CBD in each chew. So we do have four concentrations, five, 10, 20, and 40 milligrams, uh, which is, are the highest offerings in, in the industry. And we did that because we wanted to basically be able to provide a product that has the therapeutic value that we utilize a customizable approach. It's it basically, it's individualized medicine for your pet. Once we determine the age of your pet, the condition of your pet, and most importantly, how much your pet weighs, there's different formularies that determine the, the specific amount of your, your starting dose. Now, keep in mind too that, again, CBD has been marketed and, and you'll see it out there as it's a cure-all. It's gonna grow your hair, it's gonna make you run faster. I mean, some of these, you know, cures cancer. I mean, some of these claims, people are making these claims, it blows my mind. However, that's definitely not the fact, um, the fact. So. Again, we take that, that clinical uh, individualized medicine approach to make sure that um, we are giving value back to, to the consumer. And in times, and it's also very common that um, dose adjustments will need to be necessary. So if you don't see any response within a week to 10 days, then we ask that um, our, our consumers contact us back or we tell them, say, you can up the dose and extra chew. Um, to find the sweet spot to have the best clinical outcome. So again, there's no worries about overdosing because again, there's no THC in our products. Um, it's very safe. We have had absolutely zero issues with that um, from selling our products for the last uh, two years. That's cool. And, and so no uh, issues with overdosing. How about side effects? Are there any known side effects from or medical Great. interaction with other, other uh, medicines or anything? Very minor side effects we've seen on a couple occasions, maybe a little diarrhea, um, especially I witnessed that personally with my own dog, who's a 75 pound golden doodle who managed to get into a jar of our 40 milligram product, mm -hmm. ate the entire 60 chews, which is 24 oh, wow. milligrams of <laughs> oh, 60. And needless to say, he was pretty chill the rest of the day. Um, had a little bit of diarrhea, but again, the diarrhea was probably from the safflower oil, which is part of the uh, um, inactive ingredient in the product. It was but probably wasn't from the CBD, but therefore a uh, very safe product. Um, we haven't seen any issues with other, um, with other drug interactions. And what we also like to say this is we, we work with other veterinarians all over to, to customize different formularies and, and, and dosing regimens for pets individually. So it could be a cancer patient, whatever it may be. So we wanna find the right sweet spot there and um, we always welcome our consumers to say, hey, if your veterinarian wants to contact our staff, we can more or less have a better understanding of what your pet's going through to most importantly, get the best uh, clinical result. Well, speaking of veterinarians, if I were to go down to my vet down the road and ask him, hey, what is this CBD stuff? What, what's, what are you finding out there with, with vets? I would say it's 50-50. 50% of them are like, CBD is great. There's, there's evidence, it works. Um, they may even sell our products. Um, then there's the other 50% that are still skeptical, that are kind of waiting the FDA to define how they're going to uh, regulate um, CBD as a whole, which has yet to be determined, depending on, you know, the veterinarian's mentality. And, um, you know, they're not trained about this in, in vet school or even, you know, MDs in medical school. Uh, so again, we're trying to be that educator to really provide the right information for, for veterinarians and, uh, and pet owners, you know, everywhere. They might look at it and say, well, there might not be enough facts, so they might not recommend it, but it's not going to be because, oh, it's going to hurt your dog. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think some vets may say, you know, I don't know much about it. That's kind of on you to do the research. And that's where we say, hey, that's great. Come to us. We want to educate right. you. 
as, as the pet parent. But, but most importantly, we want to we want to continue to do what we're doing on the veterinarian side of the business by educating veterinarians and staff, so they do have enough information to give back to their clientele. And again, when the federal government does relate uh, CBD, then it'll be kind of a game changing type of scenario where they'll be able to dispense it and actively talk about it um, to their customers. Cool. And, and Brett, you know, what I like too is you guys, uh, you have a Facebook group and I think that that's a great resource for people that are new to the product to kind of look and, yeah. and see testimonials from other people that have used it. And, um, you know, your website, of course, is a great resource. And we'll make sure that all the uh, links are gonna be in the description below the video for our viewers, but you wanna uh, share your website and your uh, Facebook page with us again? Sure, absolutely. So definitely follow us on all forms of social media because yes, we do a lot of education. We do uh, challenges, we do offers. We're gonna be doing a lot of really cool, unique th things to interact with, uh, with our consumers. Um, so on Facebook, it's Companion CBD. Instagram, it's companion.cbd. And we have a Facebook group coming very soon where we're gonna be doing live videos um, all about um, CBD and even other veterinarian basic stuff kind of uh, to really help educate even outside of CBD. Um, so um, we're excited to have all that. And um, also another thing we would like to you know, give back and offer to you guys, to all your viewers is a 20% coupon code. So if somebody, one of your viewers is watching, they can go to our website, put in the coupon code. Um, it's MCS dog, all in caps. You enter that into the shopping cart when you're checking out and we will be offering a 20% discount to all of your viewers. Well, that's, that's awesome. very nice. Well, thank you for that. That's of course. Nice. Mm -hmm. I think you have a special program too for, um, for rescues. Is that right? You beat me to it. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, we who have a very unique, awesome uh, platform for rescues and shelters. So um, as, as most people know, they're all nonprofits and without raising money, these nonprofits wouldn't be available. And in today's situation, a lot of these nonprofits are going under due to funding. So we have a partnership program called Pet Pal CBD, where we partner with the fosters and shelters by giving them a, a vehicle to raise funds uh, full time. So it's basically, we set them up with a web page, they uh, offer our products and uh, a portion of the revenue that's generated through their, their network uh, goes directly back to the shelter um, and rescue. So we're super excited. We've seen, we've uh, partnered with quite a few um, organizations across the country. And, um, and the other part about it too is when you're rescuing an animal, their backgrounds are unknown. And in many conditions, there's significant challenges that these poor animals have been put through, anxieties and abuse and things like that. So having them on CBD and having them be able to um, be less, have the, you know, less anxiety, uh, they're more adoptable. So it's a win-win and we're super excited about this program. We've kind of pre-launched it a few months ago and we're really going to be taking it to the next uh, level here soon with, with some national media that we have planned here uh, coming up in February. So about the CBD for the dogs, is it, is it a, uh, is it a anti-inflammatory? Is it a doggy downer? What exactly does it do? I mean, what's it, you know, what's it do to the animal? Yes. So in terms of a doggy downer, absolutely not. Um, because then that, you know, again, with having a THC free product, um, you know, there's no, there's no chance of any animal becoming high, which is, you know, the psychosomatic that effect that you would get from, uh, having a THC based product. Right. Um, one of the biggest attributes of CBD and you, and you're, you just touched on it is inflammation. It really helps rid inflammation in the body when, and again, in the body of an animal and in, in humans. And, um, and that's ultimately how the company came to fruition. My background as a, as a former athlete and have gone through 16 surgeries, I've come across, I came across CBD rather four and a half years ago. And what it did for me was so profound that I decided to really 
research it further, and most importantly, create you know the company um, and start off on the veterinarian side of the business. That's cool. So I'll just cover just a little bit about how you get this out of out of the uh, the hemp plant. How does how does the process work? Great question. So we get our products, uh, our CBD, our CBD um, ingredient, which again is the purest form of CBD called isolate. So farmers grow CBD all over, um, depending on, it can be everywhere now that the Farm Bill Act was passed in 2018. So it could be Colorado, Washington, Oregon, even Texas. I mean, again, it's becoming very uh, available. Um, so it's actually, you know, extracted from the, the hemp plant and purified through the different processes. It's like, it's called a CA, there's different processes. One is a, a carbon uh, CO2 process. So that's what we utilize. So when we get our, our CBD um, isolate in from the different vendors that we, we work with, again, the, the certificate of analysis is vital knowing that we're getting a safe, effective, all natural product. Independent laboratories do, um, the different types of, of testing and analysis to prove this. So once we get it, then we incorporate the product uh, or the CBD into our product. And then after we do a post analysis testing to verify once again, that it's free of any heavy metals, pesticides, fungicides, and again, most importantly, free of any THC. And that also that we have verifiable amounts of CBD in each and every chew in the jar. Now, this is so important because so many people out there are relying on a, a value-added product that's gonna work. That being said, there was a, a study done and a poll done that 70% of online CBD companies, actually their labels are mislabeled, um, meaning that there's inaccurate amounts of CBD there potentially could be THC. Um, the CBD itself uh, may not be in a, an organic form that could have um, heavy metals in them. So again, it's vital as a physician owned company that we give people what they're expecting in terms of value, efficacy, ease of administration and a product that's affordable. Another real important uh, tip is, which I just, just gave to another media outlet that, uh, we spoke with is um, if ask your veterinarian who a good reputable company is, if they don't have any answers, you know, come to us um, or even, you know, Google's a good resource too, but make sure that wherever you may buy a product that they have an actual location an address, they provide you with a certificate of analysis, but most importantly, a referral of some sort. It's kind of like when you take your car in to get work on it, you're going to ask somebody, Where's a good reputable place that I know I can get my car fixed? It's the same kind of concept. Um, and again, if you can't, for whatever reason, get a good referral, contact us. We'll direct you, um, to put you in touch with a veterinarian to give you the facts. And, um, you know, it's, we'll take it from there. And, to, you know, to come back full circle again, it's really a big deal that you have a real vet on staff, you know, has, has part of the company and it's, it's a big deal because people really want to make sure that their pet is safe and secure and warm and fuzzy. You have a real vet that's not going to harm your pet and, and that they're there for your pet. So that's, that's really a big plus for your company. Well, thank you. And, and again, when we created the company, that was exactly the most important thing was education. And, you know, Dr. Sosna, my partner was saying, you know, if, if we're going to do this, we need first and foremost, we must educate not only veterinarians, but, but pet owners, um, just because there's, there's such an influx of, of product on the market and even on Amazon. And interestingly enough, CBD is not legal to sell on Amazon. However, there are marketers selling products that are as CBD products, but they're not, there's no CBD in them. There's hemp seed oil, which is a protein that comes from the hemp plant. But again, there's no, um, there's no CBD in it. So, it can, it can get convoluted. And therefore, again, just most importantly, always talk with your vet anytime you have any condition with your animal, because you don't want to have a misdiagnosis or give them something that could potentially be catastrophic. And again, you have that service right on your website that says, ask a vet. 
and it doesn't cost anything. So that's really, there's really an alleyway for someone to go to get that information. No reason to not be educated. And I think that yeah. is um, such a good um, thing that comes through the interview. I mean, there's so much great information here that you've shared with us, but um, also make available to the public. So um, that that is really good. And, you know, you can only urge people to really be sure that they're looking um, to educate themselves and know what they're purchasing. Absolutely. And again, we, we field a lot of uh, questions on a daily basis. And it's great because, you know, at the end of the day, not everyone's going to order the product and they may not necessarily need it right now. Because if you have a puppy or, a, you know, a one or two year old dog that is in just great shape, there's there's really, you know, no reason for CBD at this point. People still do give it as a supplementation as you or I would maybe take a, you know, a vitamin C or B or even D. Um, but again, you know, based on the now and based on the real evidence of CBD, um, it's more for you know, senior type of dogs that have specific conditions. Um, or if, if you do have a, a younger dog that has an epilepsy type of condition, then absolutely, um, we're seeing amazing results with that. But we're here to guide everybody to make sure they have enough information to make an educated decision whether or not they want to try it on their pet. Awesome. So, so again, we'll, we'll share all of your links in the description below the video so that our viewers can find you and all the upcoming changes for your uh, Facebook pages, because that's going to be a neat one to follow. And thanks again for the, uh, the product code. So for anybody uh, watching, if you want to try out this great product, you can go to their website order. And then in the card, if you enter the coupon code MCSDOG, you'll get 20% off your order. Uh, I'm guessing there's no problem shipping at all. So you can order it online and, um, and, and you'll ship it to them, whatever, the, whatever quantity they need. Absolutely. Shipping is not a challenge. It was initially we shipped through the United States Postal Service and um, we'll ship it wherever you need it to be. Well, Brett, this has been a, a really great interview. So much information. Uh, I learned a lot. Well, fantastic. I mean, it was great to, great to be here. We love to educate. We look forward to doing more things with you guys and uh, we just appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you later. Sounds good. Have Bye. A good Have a good week. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. you too. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the information. And until next time, keep your paws on the road.